welcome back to more Alan Wake. We're in a kind of sticky situation. I don't know how many tries it's gonna take to get me past this point. I might have to edit some of this out because I feel like this is gonna be a struggle, but hopefully I can nail it on the second try. <laughs> so let's get into it and see if I can do that. All right, so uh, turn that on. I don't think we actually need to do that. Is there anything else? Did we already get that? I know most of you are probably in your beds by now. Oh wait, there you are. Oh, we have shotgun. You know what? That might be a good idea against these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's start with the gun for the first couple, and then maybe we switch to the. Um, Okay, so there's a manuscript up there, but I went this way first. Because you have some stuff for me here. The flare gun, yeah. Reload that. So, so we have the flare, okay. So this is the perfect kind of situation where we can use that. Um, and them, ga them guys are gonna keep come, come up at us. Let me go this way. Wait, we get this first? Yeah. Um... TV in the gas station. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place Did was I a mess. Did I get this last time? It looked hmm. like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Okay. Wait, but there's another manuscript down there. Um... So... Wait, wasn't there one down here? Wait, am I getting turned around? I don't remember. What I'm doing. You have a good night. Maybe I just don't remember what I'm doing. That could be it. No way, is this area where I went to the lo Okay, get get your stamina back, dude. Is there any way to see the stamina? I don't really see that there is. The gas oh station yeah, was the term was behind now. here. It's light yeah. welcoming in the darkness. Okay, okay. Get ready for the shotgun. We could go straight there, but I know I'm gonna regret it if I don't try to get the manuscript, so... Come on, me guys. Were you coming from behind or in front? I don't remember. They're fast though, okay. One in front and one behind. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, there, there's a guy coming for me. I'm shooting before I can shoot. Okay, that's the first two. I think <laughs> I'm doing so much worse. It's time for this uh, shotgun. But remember to let the freaking light I just want my light to fill up a little bit before I deal with the second guy. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, can we let the refresh again before we get attacked again? I would love that. I would love that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, that was impatient. Impatient! 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 Whoa. I need to reload! Whoa. 
Okay, so wasted two shots of that. And I wasted so much of my bullets. If I don't get the manuscript now, if I get attacked again... <laughs> get attacked again, it's that and my gun. Okay. Well, the music stopped. I appreciate that. Holy shit. Oh, right. I did, uh, I did pick up this earlier. But what's the new one? Cause that one I got now. Finding pages. I have a bird. I don't know. I feel like I read all of this. Um, so, so I don't know. Wait, find this page in nightmare mode. Oh, so some of these, <laughs> nightmare mode. Yeah, like hell I'm gonna do that. Uh, reload that with that one extra bullet, why don't you? This is not happening. This is not happening. I don't think it's saved. Did it? You know what? I, I can't. I can't. I don't have the bullets for this. I, I, I can't do anything else but, but run. I don't even know where I'm going right now. Oh shit, there's a generator here. Oh fuck. I don't want to die again. I don't. I'm trying to dodge, okay? I'm trying to. Alan is just fucking. He's so bad. He's so bad at this. Oh, yeah. Let's do this right now. <laughs> you know what? You know what? What am I supposed to do? I don't have a flare gun. I don't have any shotgun bullets. I don't have. Ammo to take care of two guys. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. So... For this next one, we don't need to go for that manuscript because we already got it. Um, what my solution is for the... Okay, I'm not gonna cut this out yet. Well, you know, if it goes bad, I might just cut it out. <laughs> But uh, it's a hassle to cut out stuff, so. Uh, you radio, you can just stay. Okay, so. Well, no, don't use my sprint. I just, I just need to get better. Can you actually, let me, ch I'm not gonna change. I don't think. I don't think you can uh, change too easy in the middle of the game. <laughs> Not that I'm considering that. Not yet. The gas station was closer now. It's like yeah, we're never gonna get there, dude. We're never gonna get there. <laughs> we're literally never gonna get to the gas station. Okay, well, I'm not gonna head over there this time. Okay, well that helps, doesn't it? Can we run over here now? No, because we need to get we need to get that way. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see Oh my god, I already ran out of fucking stamina. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, can't pick that up guys. Can't pick that up. Okay, this seems like a dead end. 
Where am I supposed to go after here? I'm just, I'm exploring. I'm exploring. I, I'm gonna cut out when I die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut or the next part here after I die and I restart. I'm gonna just skip forward to this place again. Oh wait, you restart from here? That's amazing. Okay, now I don't feel as shitty. Okay. Maybe we can deal with this situation now. Maybe we can. Except I don't actually know where we're going, so there's that. Yeah, yeah, well, maybe... There's three? There's three of them now. Wait, did I not? I did load well that. Thing is, there's three. No, I don't want to sprint. Man, I don't. I don't know, man. This three is just one too many. See, I can't really. I can't let myself get hit by by these things. I can't let myself get hit by these things. Okay, I'm just I'm just staying in here for a second. Just get my health up. You coming back, dude? Where'd you go? <sighs> come out, come out wherever you are. Okay, you missed. That's good. Hey, yeah! Don't hit me in here. How long does this generator last? Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna so cheese this. I'm gonna cheese this so bad. You know? You don't think this is a forever situation, do you? That's too. There's so many! What the fuck? Oh. Forgot I died. What am I gonna do? Huh? Getting out of here. Okay. Um, hopefully this doesn't last forever. But that was like, on my previous try, it was like four rounds of these guys. So. So I don't know. I'm hoping that the number actually goes down. That's so far away. I'm trying to dodge and I just can't dodge because I, I don't know. I'm messing up again. Okay. Waiting for my flashlight again. <laughs> if this doesn't work... I don't know, man. I don't know. I might have just massive editing on this video if this is all I'm doing this entire episode. Okay, there's two. There's one over there. There, there are two more people. Where are you? Where are you? I don't want to 
go forward, man. I want to stay near my safe haven. I don't want to die now. Safe haven? You say that, but every time I've gone this way, I've died. Yeah, I think it's... It's time for this. Wait, that worked? Did that work? Please tell me that worked. I, won't, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Checkpoint. Oh, thank God. It worked. Guys, we did it. We did it. By cheesing. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Holy fuck, that was terrible. I hated that so much. Don't, guys, don't tell me this is gonna get any more difficult. Please don't tell me that. This is uh, just uh, the amount of difficult that I can deal with. Any more than that, and you'll see me give up real quick. Or do it on easy. Don't throw big rocks at me. <sighs> give me some good stuff. Give me some good stuff. Flare gun? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take flare gun. Okay. Okay, okay. It's good, it's good. Meaty boy, huh? Proceeded your own risk logging area ahead. Uh -huh. I think it's time to get out of this nightmare now, actually. And get back to real stuff. Like my wife dying in the ocean or something. Or the car. Well, the car crash was more of a nightmare thing, right? I mean, that's how I'm seeing it anyway. Three. Three. Can I run from these guys? Do you know? I don't. I don't deal with. Ah, manuscript though. Manuscript though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Sheriff. I don't remember talking to the sheriff. I'm trying to... <laughs> That's all good. It's all good. Wait, do I get to keep that? Wake lies to the ship. Okay, so we it does seem like we um get to keep that. So okay, that's awesome. Um now I need to just pick up that flare gun again. And then I'm gonna try running from those guys again. Um I'm gonna try to go into that building. Cause I think we can make it without getting hit. Because it doesn't give us any XP or anything to kill them, so... Unless they're right on my tail and I have to, I'll kill them, but if I don't have to... Okay. Stamina good, dude? We need the stamina to run from them. Yeah, yeah. Eat, eat all your meat! I'm not stopping you from eating your meat, dude! You get that meat. We enjoy the magnificent okay, I enjoy getting into this house. Do you guys? Pick, pick up Shaska. Okay. Are you guys gonna get in here? I'm gonna use everything. Well, they. They stopped. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. What? Newton, Einstein, Sagan. I don't know if they can explain what's going on here. 
but the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, a quantum suicide. Wow. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Okay. Have courage, be kind. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. I was like, Tonight, I'm going to give a practical that? demonstration of well, the many gonna watch this show. interpretation. As you can see, this <sighs> is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Excuse me? Suicide? Is that a real gun? He's this is reminding me of the please, menu movie. Please, <laughs> I love that movie, actually. Calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire. And one You can control realities? With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things... Yeah, you don't care happen. about the you that's not you right they now. always do happen somewhere. <laughs> the point is, this one thing did not happen here. I do insane not understand how you can choose that. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's better that this guy just goes. Actually, yeah. Poor, poor Doctor Colvin, filled by his own hubris, or the ignorance. He didn't the account for the fact that uh, it wasn't plugged in. <laughs> the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. Yeah. In night springs. I think it was better off dead. Yeah. That kind of power. Don't want to bestow that upon an idiot. Right? So. Alright. Now to this idiot. Uh, who's scared of leaving the house. Kind of want to watch that to... Uh, delay whatever is coming up here. So we already picked this up. So I, d I don't think I'm getting a new one. No. That's why... I've already read all of these. Cool. You guys leave me alone for a moment, okay? I'm just gonna... Try to get past this next checkpoint. You know, you know what I realized? We got a lot of shotgun shells before this. And I don't like that. That's never a good thing. Did we get a checkpoint inside that cabin? I don't know if we did that. I don't know where my checkpoint is right now. If it's all the way back up there. Okay, checkpoint here. Okay, good. Good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna slowly. Thank you. Just gonna get a full box of ammo right there, huh? So I want this great guys. I'm gonna grab some more. <laughs> Just want a couple more. Just in case. Just in case there's a hundred of these shadow guys here. I have twenty lights as well. Uh batteries, I mean. Oh no. Oh no. Oh there he is. Oh no. Oh no. 
You know, maybe, maybe, maybe we start with this because I, I don't fuck around right now. Don't professional me! Don't no! Don't 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 attack me! Don't attack! Don't attack me! Don't attack me! I'm so nice! I'm so nice! Leave me alone! I was gonna grab some more. Yeah, pick up that too. Okay, great job. Great job. Great job, you. Okay, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't like that sound. I don't like that sound. See a thermos? I think maybe I can kill him if I get enough light on him. Maybe? Give me that. Through the logging area, meet one of the Stucky's quirky locals. Vanished, leaving behind only okay. a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. That was easier than that wood fight. That was easier than that. Can you believe that? Because I didn't have to redo this. I nailed it on the first try. Yeah. That wood fight, though? That was hell. Now we can actually just go around a little bit. Don't think there's anything else here. Honestly, I don't think there's a hidden manuscript. Could be wrong. I think we've done pretty good on the manuscripts. Can I do anything with this? No. Do I need to hit that uh, generator thing again? Maybe? Do I have to do something with that? Maybe not run underneath that. It looks dangerous. Uh, anything I can climb up? Oh, <laughs> that's just that. I have everything I need. Okay, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we can do it again. Okay, okay. Oh, I didn't even use my, my shotgun, right? Yeah, we still have 10 bullets. Okay, great. I think it was a good idea to use the flare gun immediately because... If I use my revolver, I'm just gonna miss so many of them. Uh, when there's that many enemies, I just panic and, you know. Oh, there's the thing I need to... Yeah, I was looking here, I wasn't looking at this. <sighs> okay. Is it time to get back to reality then, Alan? Because even though reality is a little bit creepy, uh, it's preferable over this this reality. I mean this unreality, I guess I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Yeah We did see that Anything cool? No Do you think the ammo resets again for the next nightmare? I mean, if you've seen this game, you probably know. Because I'm wondering if I just shouldn't be afraid of using the ammo. Like After the, the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least did, for a moment. Did it? The same world reasserted itself. For a moment. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I don't like that we just reach a checkpoint and we have this whole area. But, uh, sure, buddy. E. Not F. 
then I want to read that. Stucky, Stucky spat taken. On the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Oh, that's creepy. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Ooh. You're in trouble. Your brain is all poo poo. Oh, there's a whole woody area over there. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get any help here, dude. I guess we can't go there, probably. Probably. See the eighth annual there there we go. Wait. Focus? Oh, yeah. The, the garage thing. was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Oh. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it. I'll, I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. <sighs> I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? It did it, it, be you. It did be you. Any batteries? Read. Special offer with coupon. Can I get that read thing back? I know what it says, but I just wanna, I don't know, whatever. Battery. Any. Oh, that's the one you want to read. The 68th Annual Deer Fest, September 15th to 18th. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contest, and surprise competitions. Live music for the children, Bucktooth at Charlie afternoons, and Montgomery the Mystic's Amazing Fast Phantasmagoria evenings. Don't miss the legendary Deer Fest Parade! E. Exit. Okay. Right. Don't want to grab some chips. Not feeling hungry. Big stuffer. Yeah. Stuff me up. Okay. Right, ball, sheriff. Maybe we don't get back to reality. Okay. Hello, sheriff. I don't exactly remember oh, what the God, manuscript Sarah. said, but Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are. I'm Alan Wake. Oh my God, I feel like she I should be Sarah Baker, not Sarah Alice. Breaker. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Oh. Please, Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Yeah, he has. Are you okay? He's Listen. not. We'll He's definitely not okay. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station. Okay? I think you should Mr. take him Wick, to a hospital first Stucky, and foremost. The guy who owns this place? Yeah, the guy who I was after I me? I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Yeah, so we're just gonna keep lying. Okay. Just, just want to make sure we're on the same page, Alan. <laughs> Lie your heart away. Lie, lie to your heart's desires. <laughs> this music is so good. This is so much like a thriller or like a crime novel or something. It just feels... It feels great. Yeah. So this is where you went to, but you didn't actually go here. Interesting, yeah. A candy colored clown they call the Sandman. Is that like the first chapter or whatever? Or what? 
Just a sprinkle of stardust and a whisper. End of episode one. Go to sleep. Okay. Previously I want to skip that. Alan Wake. Uh, can I skip this too? New York City three years ago. Still wearing the same jacket? Love that jacket, huh? Hey, I mean, I feel ya. I wear the same clothes all the time too. I never buy anything new, so. <laughs> Who am I to judge? Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. What are you doing? You put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Okay. Okay, honey. See, this is so much nicer. Coffee's I mean, except on. for the weather. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. This is a cute apartment. Oh, I would love to live in an apartment like this. With so many bookshelves. Except the dust is heck. I have a bookshelf in my bedroom and I never dust it. So, <laughs> you know, it gets quite dusty. Go to Alice. Who oh, the hey, fuck is Alice? I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. Oh, <gasps> Thermos. I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Ooh. Ooh la la. Examine. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The mm, last manuscript time was... page. Okay, shh, shh. We're on a new chapter. Means I missed like a couple manuscript pages, but that's fine. Some places are too stressful. And the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Okay. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome, slushy, dissolved all Yuck. the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city becoming one with it I can see them now my wife and my baby honey I'm home okay Last time. oh and speaking of Barry he called <gasps> Alex turn to sender what I can't forget talk. Alex. I'm right here. Alex I'm Casey, on it, honey. The Please things that hurry. I want, the fall of Casey. Check the fuse box. Okay, relax, wifey. You're not gonna die from a little bit of darkness. I really don't like this, Alan. Please hurry. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Where do we go? Go to Alice. Oh, okay, okay. See? Hi. You okay? Hi. I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out yeah, the Yeah, you cameras. better be sorry. I know, it's stupid. But it's I was just, trying to light it onto her face. Especially when I'm not prepared <laughs> See if it helped. for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. Now you had them as an adult. Too. Makes sense. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. I don't if think I ever that's got scared of the dark, name. I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Yeah, he lies player. a lot. He Thanks does. This. At least so far. <laughs> Which I count as a lot. <laughs> it's quite an apartment. Right, false, present day. 
I like being hmm. in the past. Nothing ever hurt me in the past. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Yeah, hallucination and seeing monsters and... I'm okay. I don't know, probably killed my wife too, honestly. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Yeah. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done. I'll here. totally take it easy. If pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let yeah. you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure Where's Sarah Baker from? No Baker? Time. Baker is from Resident Evil, right? Was one of them named Sarah? Maybe not. Okay. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. <laughs> good, good, good. Talk to Sarah. Thank you for testing the life. Read what? Oh, this. Richard Bo, Bruce Dansky, Diego Miller on a camping trip overdue. Haven't been in contact. Have you seen them or know their whereabouts? I'm sure I'm gonna see them. Hmm? Don't you think? We've seen this man disappeared. 07. Knack for winning contests. Okay. Well, I'm sure I'll, I'll meet all of these guys. Sarah Breaker, Sheriff. Okay. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Wow, you haven't charged my phone? Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I don't think I'm you guys sure. are very good at finding people because I saw the we list outside. Arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? Yeah, that doesn't exist. How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night. Unless I couldn't. it exists, me but up. it doesn't exist in the nightmare reality. Excuse me. I need to take this. It's all very, very Hello? confusing. Alan, please help me. Oh, I pressed the button. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Oh. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Can you hear this lady? I need some fresh air. Can I go out? In the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm sorry. All of this, it's just a lot to take in. Take your time, Mr. Wake. I understand. Yeah, you should have heard the phone call I just had. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Personal. Well, Here. we are looking for your wife. Well, I'm I don't care about my wife. I want to catch this killer. It's probably going to end this After story. I get some fresh air. Okay, you can find me here. We'll talk when you feel up to it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Meeting room. Oh, that was where I came from. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't okay. mind Walter in there. He's Are one of the regulars. Holding cells. Yeah. Let me just see if there's any guns. <laughs> Wait. Why is he blinking? Can I press it? I think I'm killing everybody for a story. Hey, hey mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. You're also talking about lights. You're alright. You're a good guy. I don't know if I'm a good guy. Anybody tell you different. Alan might be the bad guy here. Like everybody around him end up, ends up dead. In spite of its human mask, Just to saying, describe it's the dark sus. presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. The dark presence. 
confusing. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Go through the fence on the left. I'm just checking around though. You never know what I can find. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God okay. knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've yeah. had a few broken windows, even a report. I am blocking some of this text. Street. Should I move my camera? Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Okay. Um, if I move my camera, I should probably go on the right side since he is running on the left side. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something yeah, for me in an abandoned there. car. We're we getting in there. Oh, fine. Fine, fine. Hole in the wall. You mean like over here? Over this thing? There you go. It's tough to jump like that. You could have just pushed it over, but sure. Oh, more manuscripts. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Where Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Jumpy jumpy. How you doing, buddy? Buddy? A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Why do I think you put her in danger in the first place? Also, there was like a flash before that happened. So I feel like we're back into a nightmare scenario right now. I kind of want to switch off the mic. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson I wonder if anything about the colors changed on their recent and regrettable when we outing. they are not accountable for their actions of course I can assure you that my staff has been they're not accountable for their Dora actions and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm indeed all we can do is to slow down the progress oh. of their dementia Dang. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds Cabins. Perfect. I'm Dr. They're the woods? Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Yeah. Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. 
Hey, Barry. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. You want to still talk to a person who assaulted you? Interesting. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. Mm -hmm. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Yeah. Just awake. Yeah. Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Who are right. you? I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. Isn't it very really convenient for you that my wife is gone? Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Later. See ya. Who's Max? I don't know. What an airhead. There? Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very a nice, nice girl cabin. and, more importantly, a fan. Yeah. You're gonna lose her other fans if you're gonna start punching people in, uh, around places. Talk to Rusty. Seriously, right. Al. What you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? Are you high? Have you been drinking? I might no. be high. I Look, might Barry, be drinking. I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. Could be. Okay, can't access that. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Wait yeah. here. Yeah, I know, I know. Easy there, boy. That's why I'm so I'm curious about done. this story. Hey, Rusty, right? Oh. You're at cabins. Oh, uh, Mr. Wake. Need help? I shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Yeah. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? I can go. It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kid. Wait, not here. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No, this whole thing. It... Listen, you hit your head. Uh huh. Jeez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. I do, I do. But I I'm kind of here for this story, so I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Great. Great. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. <laughs> Barry, you, Barry. you need to chill a little. Well, it's fine. We got everything under you control. Me now. and Alan, Look, we're gonna Alan, deal with this. You're asking me to believe that you shot Bye. a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you point. Yeah, yeah. That's just crazy talk, Al. 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 We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry! The killer. This is not a you goddamn you'll kill her? Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. He's definitely not right in it. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Dude, don't be sick. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels My are flash dangerous. light is back. Tourist, or be and I all think all I again. lost a lot of my batteries. Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. You know, before... <laughs> I'm so stuck right now. 
This is so not oh. worth a 15% commission. I think it's a good point to end this episode, though. You want to know what you can Before we start this whole light? new Lock mission? The door when I leave. Yeah, yeah. I think that's good. Go ahead and do what you have to do. So I really want to continue, but I have Alone, plans today, so I can't really play much longer. Anyway. Cabin straight from a horror movie. What for you point that thing out? <laughs> horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, we're ending it there. Man, except for that beginning part of this episode with the wood fight, like everything else is so good. I love the mystery. I love the chaoticness. I love the dialogues. They're fun. I love the fighting mechanics even. Though the light thing does get annoying because you have to like hit the line and then the light has to reach a certain point before you get to hurt them. And I messed that up a little bit, but I think it's still a fun mechanic. So, so yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this playthrough. I, I don't think this game... I, I don't care how it ends, really. If he's guilty, if he's not guilty. Like, whoever, whatever's happening here is all good. I'm just enjoying it. And I'm excited to play, uh, uh, continue playing it as well. We're gonna end it here, though. So if you enjoyed this video, you can always like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye!